Hey guys, hope everyone's well uh, and had a good Christmas and New Year. Uh, quiet one for me, really. I uh, just want to start the New Year with a quick little video for anybody thinking about going off road on a Himalayan or any other little bike. Uh, that the first element of riding off road on a bike safely and in control is clutch control. Um, it's it's a it's a fundamental skill which some people lack or need in practice on, but will really enhance your riding. Uh, and one of the things that people don't initially grasp is that a bike, certainly a Himalayan, will chug along with no revs just on the clutch. And I want to quickly show you. So that's uh, first gear. So I've just got two fingers on the clutch. I'm controlling the, the uh, power uh, on the clutch, no throttle. And the Himalayan will happily chug along, I, you know, like that. And I think one of the basic first fundamental drills of off-road riding is being able to walk the bike like this, uh, just slipping the clutch, keeping control of the bike, keeping, keeping a steady pace. Uh, this will greatly enhance your ability to get it in and out the garage easily or to maneuver it as the same car parks and things like that. So for me, this is where your, your route, your road, your path into off-road riding starts. Just having good bike control. What you can see I'm doing, I'm leaning the bike into me and I'm always creating a, a triangle shape. The base of the triangle uh, the, on the ground and then the point being my upper body, my shoulders. So leaning the bike into me, I can put it into my hip if you want. And I'm, as you can see, just creating a structure, a triangular structure. So the bike's never leaning away from me. And I'm just rolling that, just on the clutch. And if you can feel confident with your bike at this sort of speed, doing this sort of thing, that's your great first step to doing that. And that looks a bit fancy. People think you're showing off. Well, actually, you're not at all. You're just using the bike and controlling the bike with this basic skill, the clutch control that you've just practiced. So the transition, really, so again, no clutch. That's just all on the clutch. So people really struggle or they, they see off-road riding or slow speed riding as a bit of a mystique, a bit of an art, but it's not. It's just having finesse on those two fingers on the clutch. And the Himalayan of all bikes in this class makes it easy because that bike will chug along with a closed throttle all day long. And it will do in second at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. But the beauty of having good clutch control is that if you see an obstacle, you really can control your bike. You can control its pace and its speed and the way in which you engage that obstacle. A, pro a lot of problem, uh, a problem that a lot of people have is they don't have a good control of the bike at slow speed. So as, as soon as they come across an obstacle, they're hitting the bike, the obstacle too fast in the wrong gear at the wrong speed. Whereas if you've got a good control with the bike, you control the bike, you dominate the bike. The bike does what you want it to do rather than the bike doing what it wants to do. And the fundamental, two fingers on that clutch, and this is a good practice for you to do in, your, in, in a Tesco car park, is just find that biting point. Find when that engine's engaging and then just keep it there and, and you, you, you're using my minute, my new input. Uh, and I think some people see the clutch as being something that's either in and out, in or out, and it's not. It's something that's got uh, either 100% in or 100% out, but in between there's 100 different variables, different, 100 different settings. And, and the, that is what dictates, dominates the speed of the, of the bike and the control that you have over it. So if you see it as a bit of a trigger, you're always going to struggle. So, as I say, if you want to practice your off-road riding, clutch control and if anybody thought that looks a bit fancy getting on the bike like a cowboy all you're really doing and again that's with a closed throttle so I've got no throttle input there it's all and it's just balance again forming that triangle so I'm slightly leaning the bike into me and I'm leaning across the bike so we're doing that that just creates a nice stable platform. And then from there you just swing your leg over. So it's one of those skills that actually looks quite complex and you know people do videos making it look harder than it is, but really it's just close control and a bit of flexibility and throwing your leg over. Now, there's nothing more complicated than that. And in terms of getting off, same again. You know, and the bike for the job is the Himalayan, which is again one of the reasons I really like it. 
because it gives you good finesse at low speed. It's got good low speed manners and it helps a novice rider do slow speed maneuvers. So that's it. First lesson of off-road riding, before you hit a trail, before you go, want to go fast, before you want to go blasting through mud and ruts, is learn slow speed con uh, clutch control. Because once you've done that, you'll not only be more confident off-road, you'll all be, also be more confident in all aspects of tight technical riding, whether it's hairpins in the, in the Swiss Alps or in Scotland, yeah, first gear, uh, maneuvering in car parks and everything like that. It will enhance your riding no end. And it seems a simple trick, but the number of riders I see who have got very poor clutch control is quite high. And if they could just finesse that, their riding would improve no end. Cheers.